Tony, you want the microphone? Tony, we got I'm mic. Sorry, I'm sorry. So, Coach, can you know just open us up and see where we at as far as the players? And uh, of course, I have to ask about Alvin Gentry as well. Um, so, protocol, everybody is is the same. Um, Rich is getting closer, but he's still not going to be with us. Uh, Ag is doing spectacular. Uh, all my conversations with him are humorous in nature, uh, basketball driven, and then outside the box sometimes. So he's doing good. Yeah. He's giving you any type of AG that is. He's giving you any type of critique, you know, in these last three games or, you know, since you're going on the road. You know, he's he's told us that uh, I haven't asked him specifically about myself, but he has spoken to me about the entirety of our coaching staff and the fact that that we've been doing a good job. So that's really what it's all it's all about. We're we're holding down the fort until he gets back, um, and we talked to him pregame. Uh, we talked to him at walkthrough. We talked to him post game. We talked to him at halftime. So he is involved as you as you can be. And he's been for me. I'm just speaking for myself, not for the other coaches. He's been spectacular. Yeah. Hi, Doug. Jamie hey, yeah. with AP again. Good to see you. You as well. Um, Steve Kerr was just saying that. I mean, he's down a couple players in protocols, and he said you just kind of have to focus on yourself because the other team's dealing with it too. And we're all just trying to find combinations and, and rotations right now. Yeah. Is that is that sort of how you have to approach it? Well, St Steve ha has a little better. He has this this guy over there. I think his name is Steph Curry. Um, the last time I checked, he's not in protocol. Uh, but, yeah, I, I mean, for us, it's just been, okay, who do we have? As T asked, like, who's available first and foremost? Now let's begin to build out our game plan before we even start to think about the opponent. And, um whatever you want to say, is it hard, difficult? Yeah, it is, but it's the hand that we've been dealt and we do the best with it that we can. Any other questions in the room? Okay. How do you, uh, you know, they're, they're probably going to honor Steph's um, three point record since he did it on the road. And, and how do you, how do you try to uh, approach him? And, and the second he steps over half court, he's, he's a threat. Um, there's, you know, there's a lot of teams in this league that have asked that same question. I mean, you pay him the respect that is due as one of the, if not the best three point shooter that's ever played our game. Um, he shoots off the dribble. Um, keep a body on him. Make sure that you are there. Contest all that you can. Make it as humanly difficult as you possibly can for him. And with that being said, the absolute best defenders in this league have done that, and he is now the reigning three point champion. So it's a, it's a big big task. Ask, but this is in in all seriousness this is what you live for um I, i've had the honor to play against some of the best players that ever play this game at a really high level and i always thought that that was the one of the biggest things is my ability our team's ability to test ourselves against the absolute best to see where we're at and this is no different it's uh it's a new era he started that new era and he's at the top of his game right now so these guys should view this as an opportunity coach christy uh you alluded to it last night about uh two players that's filled in uh and jamias ramsey and uh justin robinson just want to get your thoughts on having the luxury of their service uh, I, I think it's big time. I thought both of them in the first game, um, it, it didn't go exactly how they wanted. Justin had traveled. Uh, Jemais is trying to find his way. But in the second game, um, a lot better. I, I was really, uh, Justin came in, backed us up for some minutes. I would have anticipate that he does something similar tonight. But Jemais was fantastic. I, I, I really, like, I'm a, I'm a fan of his. Watching him improve on the defensive end has been really, really, special i thought his summer league performances were great and now uh, i know in the g league with bobby he's you know bobby's putting him through the paces and he's he's doing a great job so to come to the stage uh have an off game i would think that that's how he would probably say it and then come back and have the type of imprint on that game that he did big time stuff hey doug hey 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 um so obviously you're going up against a really tough defense and you had a really good rhythm and offensive flow in the last game. How do you continue that? It's tough. These guys, um, 
you know, anchored by multiple time defensive player of the year and Draymond Green, Gary Payton Jr. or the second. Um, and they play great team defense. That's the one thing. They're very, you know, heavy nail help, making sure that they're weak side, they're in, they're where they're supposed to be. This is where I think in many ways we have to have a little patience, uh, turn down some good shots for some great shots, make them have multiple defensive efforts on that end of the court. And if we do that, we end up with good shots that we can live with and not allow them to jailbreak going the other way. Go ahead, Avery. All right, let's go ahead with James. James. Hey, Doug. So, uh, number one, same starting lineup, uh, question mark. And then number two, uh, when you look at the last couple of days, it's not that you're just taking over a team, but you're taking over a team in the middle of a COVID outbreak and also in the middle of like four games and six nights. Just how difficult has this been to even go through game plans and all that stuff? Uh, first thing, yes, uh, the lineup stays the same. Ty, Buddy, uh, HB, uh, Mezzi, and TT. The other question, to be honest with you, James, sometimes you just deal with what's in front of you. And I, I would say the biggest and the greatest thing is from our front office to our coaching staff, to our trainers, to everyone has lend a helping hand. And that for me has been great. So multiple people doing multiple jobs, stepping up in huge ways. So yeah, it has been, it's truly, truly difficult. Yes. But the help that we've gotten from our staff, uh, PR and, and Alex, like it's been big time stuff and it's been very, very helpful for me. Katie. Hey there, Doug. I just wanted to ask you about Tristan and kind of his role in his increased minutes and, and getting the starts and how how valuable he is, not only just in terms of what he's doing on the floor, but also his leadership and his vocal nature. Yeah, good question. I, I really... Um for me personally, I identified Tristan at the beginning of the season. I, I, was, I was just new and what have you, but I loved what he brought. He brought the proper spirit, the proper toughness, the proper communication, all the things that you want from a position in today's game, especially when you're not a scorer where you might not be as involved as, as you want to be. He's setting screens. He's hitting guys on back picks. He's doing all the dirty work on the offensive board. So all the things that Tristan has has brought for us have been huge. There have been times where he hasn't played. All of a sudden, Coach AG calls him. He comes in, and he's changed the game. Whether we won or lost wasn't the point. The point was the energy was there was a shift when he came in the game. And since um, I, I've been sitting in AG's seat, I've called upon him, and he has responded, and I just hug him every day. Thank you, man. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 